You're making traction with your business, but let's say something comes up and you need to create a pitch deck to get some funds, or maybe you need to present at your local chamber of commerce to tell a little bit about the story for your brand. Well, I'm going to show you how you can create this incredible presentation or pitch deck using one of the free templates that I'm providing as part of this series and make it reflect your brand. But also, we're going to go through some tips and strategies that you can use to tell your story and create an engaging presentation that is a lot more memorable and less overwhelming so people can connect with what you are doing and what your business offers. Now, before we dig any further, I want to take a quick moment to pause and thank Adobe Express for partnering with me to bring this series to you. Ready to get started? Let's go. With a template that I provided that looks something like this, we're gonna go ahead and change it, apply our brand, add our colors to make a custom presentation just like this. And I'm gonna show you all the steps that I did to add some of these animations so that you can take the same template and apply something that fits your brand. Remember, to get started, you have to access the free templates that I provided and you have to have them already in your library. So once you have that, Go and find the template that has this pitch deck, click on it, and start a new file. Let's start editing this pitch deck or this deck that you want to use. What I really recommend is being very clear about the purpose, whether you're going to use this to pitch your business or you're going to use it to present. So for this case, let's say that we need to create a slide deck or some sort of presentation to talk to our local chambers about what our company does. So the first thing that you're going to do is look through all the slides that I included. And at the top of each page, you'll see share your your mission so it kind of gives you a little bit of an idea of what you can use it for and go through each page and see the ones that you may or may not need for instance this page we don't necessarily need it so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this go through this process and find which pages you'll need I also have divider pages so if you're not gonna use this to divide your presentation then you can go ahead and delete them. I've gone through the pages and I'm down to six pages. I wanna keep this very simple. To make my process much faster, we're gonna leverage brands. I'm gonna find the brand that I need to use and then click on apply brand. I can keep on clicking this until I find a combination that I'm happy with. And then I can go further and start to edit this. Keep in mind that as you see these combinations and you're applying brand, there may be instances where the type and the background do not have enough contrast. So just be aware of that. I'm gonna start making a few tweaks to this template. I know I don't need these icons nor the image of the coffee. So go ahead and start to delete some of the elements that you don't need that don't apply to your brand. Next, what I wanna do is go ahead and change the background color. I do wanna make sure that the first one is one of our darker colors from the brand. But for this one, this is not working. That is not enough contrast between the green and the red. And you already see that it's starting to look much better. Now, what I do recommend is that you have consistency between the colors for your headers and your body copy. For this instance, I want to make sure that I have that deep, rich red for my text and then a different green for the actual copy. And then I'll make sure that I apply the same process throughout for consistency and extending some of the text here. Now we haven't replaced the text yet. I'm just doing the pre prep work to make our updating so much easier. So go ahead and do that for all the slides. And now we're going to meet back in just a second with the update. I've made the tweaks. Now we want to go ahead and start to replace the images with images of your brand. So we're going to follow along with this brand that we are using. So we're going to click on replace and then we're going to either upload the images or find them from a library or use media to add the images. I have my images here in a special library that I created. So I'm gonna go ahead and find ones that I wanna replace and I will just go ahead and drag on top of the images that I need to replace. All right, now I've added my images and you're probably wondering what is this? So this was a little hack that I did to kind of cover up the image so it looks like you have a nice little cutout 
And what I needed to do was make sure that it was the same color of the background. And as you can see now, it looks again like it's a cutout, but I wanna make sure I'm not cutting anyone's face. Now, the next thing I wanna do is delete this pattern or actually replace it. If you don't have a pattern, you can go ahead and click on the trash icon to delete it. But since I have one, I'm gonna go to my brand kit and find that pattern and replace it. Okay, I wanna do one last thing for this page and that is adding a piece of torn paper. The torn paper kind of makes me think of back in the days when we used to use actual physical maps and how sometimes those torn pages remind me of the shapes of mountains. So I'm gonna to look for a torn page edge. That'll be good and let's see what we find. There's a lot of options here, so I can go ahead and select one. Let's select this one. And now I'm gonna place this over here towards the edge, stretch this out a bit. And now what I wanna do is I'm actually gonna go play with duotones. We'll adjust this a little bit better later, but let's play with duotones to make this match our brand color. So I clicked on effects. Now I'm gonna click on custom. And I wanna make sure that I have my brand kit selected so that I can apply the actual colors for my brand kit. And sometimes it's gonna be a little bit of a playing with the shadows and highlights and just select a couple of colors that look like they work well together. This is pretty good. I can go ahead and switch. Let's see what this would look like with a different color. Now that's looking pretty good. I can go ahead and make more modifications, but I'm really liking the direction of where this is going. And as you can see, we were able to take that template and start to apply that for this particular brand. Now let's work on a couple more pages before we move forward. What I wanna do here is I'm gonna actually go and delete a few more elements that we don't need. And we're gonna go ahead and paste the actual copy that we want for here. But before we move further, let's just change this background color because that red on green is not good. Now let's go ahead and replace the text with the actual brand copy. I went ahead and added my copy and I updated some of the icons so that they match what each pillar was focused on. Now all I need to do is add the very last icon. To add icons, go to elements and search for the type of image that you're looking for, you can actually go under icons over here. And I wanna look for something that is about community and kind of just scroll until I find the right icon. Once I find the right one, I'm just gonna click on select it and then it's gonna add it to my page. Okay, I have my icon here. Let's do one last piece for this page and then we can move forward. I actually wanna go ahead and add an image on the background that is very subtle. Since I have images under a library for this brand, I'm gonna go into that library, but you can always go under media to find an image. Now I add my image over here. I'm gonna make it as large as possible so that it really takes on to the actual page size. Then I'm gonna decrease the opacity and make sure I bring this image all the way to the back. I make sure I have my layers toggled so that in case you don't see this, you'll have to toggle them on over here in this little icon. Now let's go to the data and insight page. If you have any data that you wanna share, there's a lot of really great options that you could use for your data on presentations inside Adobe Express. So in the template that I provided, there was a sample of a bar chart where you had two different data points. Now I wanna have a different type of chart because I want it to be three different elements that I'm showing. So we're gonna go under the chart options and I'm gonna look for a different types of donut chart. So let's select this one. And now I'm gonna go back and start to edit this. So you can actually edit the labels and market value could just be the actual value. You can switch it to whichever you wanna use here. And I actually want this to be towards the three key points that I'm focusing on. So, and now I wanna add my last item. And then you're probably seeing here, hey, these are not the values that I wanna show. I actually want to show percentages. Well, to do that, click on this icon over here and you can select percentage over here under the value type. Now you'll actually see percentage points and you're able to write the value over here. So if it's an actual number, let's just put 4,578. 
And then once I've added my values, it actually calculates the percentages for you, which is really great. And now we have this really great chart over here. Now you wanna make sure that you select your brand colors so that it fits the data that you're trying to show along with your brand colors. And now we're ready to make the final edit to the deck. A few changes that I did for the cover, I actually updated with a copy. I added an image here that was relevant. I added an icon over here for the brand and I gave it a 10% opacity. So it just gives this whole layout a little bit more depth. Without this, it starts to feel a little empty over here. So I'm gonna bring it back and that way we're starting to bring our design together. To add transitions, go to the very bottom area where you see the page. If you don't see this enable, just click on show pages and now you can click on these transitions. Click on this icon and you'll see a few options. Now I know the team is going to be adding more options in the long run. so. When you see this, you might see a few more options. But for now, we have these options and you can go ahead and select for different option and then apply to all your pages. Another thing that you can do is you can actually select the page that you wanna do a special animation for and go over here to add animation. And you can add an entire animation to all of the page and you can kind of select different options. It's going to do this AI magic and set different timing for you. And then you'll be able to press play again and see how this looks. You can go through different options. Just make sure that it's not too much, not too overwhelming. And let's go ahead and make a really neat animation for this page because I want it to be like a timeline effect where things are animated, but these pillars show up at different times. So we can apply the animation effect and we can give it a popping effect. And I'm liking how this is going, but I wanna make sure I make a specific animation for these. So what you'll have to do is click on none for these special elements that you want to animate all together. And then what you'll do is you'll select them all, make sure I delete all of that, select them all, group them, and then select animation. Then I wanna do a drop effect, click on this icon over here. I want it to go up, I want it to start outside of the page, and I want it to be, let's say, a little bit smooth. I can change the timing to, almost one second and I can see that this is working really great. Now, let's say I actually wanted to adjust the timing. We don't see the timeline here. If you wanna see the timeline, click on those three dots for that specific page and click on edit timeline. This is where you'll see that timeline and then enable show layer timing to see all the little timings that you have for each of your pages or each element in this page. And then you're able to go ahead and make those edits. Once I'm done making those edits, it would look something like this. Take your time designing your own deck, whether it's to pitch, to inform, be very clear about the purpose behind what you're doing. And as you're able to see here, we were able to take that initial template and customize it for this brand. Take your time with this process, be patient, do it one step at a time, and I guarantee that you will end up with something that you are proud of. Now that you've done all that great hard work, let's move forward with the next step that you can find in this video. Thanks for watching. We have an entire playlist where you can learn more right over here.